Alright, so for today we want to try out some PVA. So I was looking at a few models from GrabCAD, for example this one by Charlie, which looks pretty cool. And uh, I think that I actually loaded up here in Fusion as well. I think it's something that, um, that could be fun to, uh, to work with. So I removed some of the parts, but uh, all of this should require like PVA material, especially if we print with this side down and uh, we put some PVA inside of all these small small parts, which would be, uh, I'd say it's a real world scenario. And uh, we could even print it like it is right now, or with these sides down, um, but I think that we want to have the layers in that direction. So uh, let's just export all of this. Input. Let's go in here, take the power input, suppose we rotate it 90 degrees, center it, and maybe even rotate it to 180 here, so it's a little bit more interesting to watch. Something like that, but we also need to make sure we get the right profile here. So I have, right now, we have the um, ESAN PVA in the right filament but also um, um, the color fila PLA in the left one. So let's go with that, download that profile. There we go, resolutions. Let's import the profile. There we go. Edit it. Is um, PVA to right. There we go, and we want to go with, uh, with standard I suppose. So let's just see what settings they are looking at here. So we're looking at layers, 0.15, and that looks good. Additionals, infill, I'm gonna go with the fast honeycomb, that's that's what I like. Support, do you have any dense supports? No, not really. Yeah, we do, we do get some dense here. But also horizontation, okay, but yeah, that's all good. Interesting, I'm gonna lower this again. But that's it. Let's slice it and see what happens. One hour, one hour, so... Um, but yeah, these ones here are really, really small. The connectors here on the back, They're like one layer. But that should work, right? With PVA, I think it's all good. So let's go ahead and try that. Failure! Oh man! Oh man, it, it got unstuck from the... Uh, actually from its itself, from the raft. That's pretty interesting. I don't know really how that happened. And I guess that <laughs> it's no way for me to like remount this. Okay, let's investigate uh, what happened here. Okay, so I know we have a quite small adhesion here, but I don't think that should ruin everything. Hmm, interesting. I'll guess that uh, all I can do really do is try it again, maybe in a different orientation or something. Um, not sure how that got... Because, I mean, if you look at this here, the rafts, it's still partially on, so I'm not sure what happened. So I guess we'll just tr try it again, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> All 
right, so it's finished. It took some hours, but finally it's done. So let me just, uh, just take this off here so we can have a look at it. There we go. It's not so much to look at right now when there's so much uh, PVA material in it. But uh, all, all the panels, all the surfaces looks really cool, even though they are really, really thin. You see the Compressunk screw hole there? It's super nice quality. And this is very nice. I will guess I just put this in water and we're gonna try something else. But before that, I'm gonna show you this as well. I got some of these boxes here and inside we have 0.6 millimeter nozzles. So I suppose that these should be pretty easy to swap. Let me just pull this out. There is a connector here, so I guess that all we have to do really is to, um, I suppose that all I have to do is unlock this and the connector goes, it probably goes in there, somewhere under that. So I might need to unbox, as uh, not unbox, to open up this, this one here as well. There should be four screws, so uh, what do you say we, we put that on? All right, so prepare this container with water. <laughs> Just regular water, I think that's one liter. It might not be enough, but that's the best glass transparent thing I have. The GoPro is, there we go, now it's running time lapse. So we just put this um, model in, just have a final look at it before we start uh, dissolving it. So here's the result of the model, look at those finished surfaces, looking really really nice. And support material, I think it missed in one of them, but it's so nice anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's put it in. I'm not sure if it's gonna sink. Oh, it is. It's gonna sink. That's cool. So, I suppose we just leave it there for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, so we want to change the extruder here to a 0.6 millimeter, and it seems like, I mean, I would think that you could just swap the nozzle, but maybe there is something smarter with this. Maybe there's something inside optimized the fans, cooling blades and stuff like that. Before anything, let's unload the filament. Okay, that's it. That is the um, filament unloaded. Now we can go ahead and start unscrewing here. Uh, we can actually start by just unplugging the guide tube. Which if we push down on the gray, should be easy to do. We've got some filament in here. We can just drag that out. Okay, so we start off by, I wanna see what's under this cover here. Ah uh, yes, and here we can see the plug. This one here, so it's just plugged in right there, right there. All right, so let's just keep on screwing. Wanna remove the um, the hot in here. Uh, note that if you just unload the material, it's still hot, or at least fairly hot. So that's something to think about. We move it upwards, kind of snaps out. Oh, the cable is actually attached there by a. Um, what's it called, a Ziploc, so I'll just remove that. Hopefully I don't need to replace it with something because I don't have any more zip ties laying around. So, um, there we go. And we unplug the connector. And there we go. A 0.4 millimeter hot end out of the way <laughs> and I drop it as I say that. All right, let's push in the new one. This is the 0 0.6. There's, I don't think there's any markings. You kind of need to uh, be careful here so you don't mix them up. You can see a slight difference on the nozzle size just by looking at it.
So twisting in the cable also twists here on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew in this one. Like so. And the next one should align fairly well. And it does. Super nice. Screw that in. And also take the whole cover, trying to keep the cable inside. And I think this will all work out super nice. I do want to tighten this one a little bit more. I think that's fairly important. It's probably quite tight. And, and I suppose we do need to do a new leveling here. So let's just plug in the, uh, the Bowden tuber again. And we're all good to go. We should be at least. We'll, we'll see when I start up the machine. If anything breaks, anything starts burning, <laughs> I wouldn't think so. And with that said, we're done with this step. <laughs> Alright, so that should be it. Now uh, let's take the SD card and try something else. So, as you know, we go back to the uh, profile here, but this time we're gonna go with 0.6 on the right. And we're still using the PVA, so we're gonna go with Colofila PLA on the left one here. Um, that's about it. Let's get the uh, Simplify 3D profile. Let's go in here, import that profile. Uh, what? I think that means right. Let's see, yeah, 0.6 millimeter. Awesome. And um, thank you very much for Team User again. <laughs> wow, I really enjoy his models, <laughs> that's for sure. I don't even follow him. Hmm. Um, okay, so we have this loaded in. We're now gonna open our profile and we're gonna go with the ESAM 0.6 millimeter uh, right. And we need to activate both here. I don't know why. Usually that seems to work much better. Let's see here. Um, let's go with right to do first force. Let's go with a draft. I really want to see how fast we can do this. Um, I'm going to leave everything stock, even the printing speeds and the support structure. Um, sorry, movement speed. So I'm just going to go with that. Um, let's see here. If we click print. Mm. Does it look like it's a bigger line? I think so, right? You can see a difference from this line and that line. So the 0.6, uh, everything about that is, seems to be working fine. So let's go with that. But remember, this is a draft model, so don't expect like the best results you've ever seen. The cube, PVA. There we go, and let's start printing. And I ain't never gonna stop. Seem to be doing really well. Uh, as you can see, the support material at the bottom is a little bit looser, but the whole the whole structure is still in place exactly where it should be. And speaking of PVA, I had to cancel this one because I had to clean out the water a few times. You'll probably see that in time lapse. But the result is here. So this here is the model. Uh, there are still a little bit of PVA in some places that were difficult to get rid of. Let me just stabilize this here a little bit. So here you can see some of the PVA is still undissolved. But oh, and there are some marks here on the back from the support material. I think it really, the material lets it shine through extra, extra much. But I mean, all in all, the result there is very nice and the screws are very, very nice. So, um, let me take some photos of this one and throw into the vlog. I have to be me 24 7 And I ain't never gonna stop No, 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 no No, 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 no Never gonna stop No, 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 no Yeah, 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 yeah Okay, so that's all for this Sunday. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's gonna be two days until next vlog because I'm gonna work so I need to have like a few hours to create a vlog and when working you don't get that so every second day I think will be a vlog. So hope you enjoy that and hope that's okay for you. And make sure to follow me on social media. I'll probably have a lot more content like snapping on each day, just uploading whatever I can get, get hold of. So um, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the new vlogs. And I'll see you then. Bye.